guys. This is for the people that have been requesting to see a close-up on my Unistrut design, how I design these ground mounts. All right, we're back here. First thing I did, I dug two holes, one there and one there. And this is the back pole. And it goes up. These L brackets here, you can get them same place you get the unit strut. I got this at Home Depot. And all of this stuff is back in the department where the unit strut is. They got the L brackets, they got the T brackets, they got different, uh, I don't know the names for all of them. That right there was an L bracket that I had bent into shape. I concreted these poles in the ground first. Then I cut the angles on them that I wanted. And then the uh, all this hardware you can get from Home Depot in the aisle where the unit strut is. Let's see if I can get that. See down inside of there, right there, you got your little your little piece and you stick it in and turn it and you can bolt different stuff onto the top. Then you have these little ones here that I bolted the panels down to there. I don't know the names for all of this stuff, but basically I just bolted a 10 foot piece from that end down to this end and did another one from here down to there and that accepts six panels. There's another L bracket. I just bent it down. L bracket there. And this is your close up. Here. There's the L bracket. There's one down there. And I'll show you all this one here. Did the same thing. Concreted the poles in the ground. Concreted the poles in the ground. There, there. And then I bent. Let's do this one here. It'd probably be better. I bent the L bracket did the same thing for that one there and the same thing for them up there I used a, uh, a T bracket up there in the front when I bolted the unit strut right here I used the T bracket right over there I used the L bracket right here and I'll show you take you around there and I'll show you bolted it all down this one here I did it a different way. You can get these in um, Home Depot too, back there where the unit strut stuff is. I cut a little piece off here at the bottom, put the bolt in there, bolted it down, and it holds it down perfect. Now right here is where I use the L bracket and the L bracket goes this way and it goes up that strut and bolted that on. Right here is where I use the T bracket. Right here. And the reason why it's called a T is it goes this way and it goes up that way. So I hope that helped you, but that's just a quick little rundown on how I built this. And when I do the mounts on the roof up there, I actually shoot some video when I'm doing it, how I'm mounting it down and everything. But this is it. I'll take you through. And you can see the overview far away. 
don't know how good you can see that. See on the back, right there, where the boat is going through, there, and right there, where it boats the panel down to the unit strut. But I hope this here helps you out on how I built this, and it's you see. But this thing is very, very strong. Let's go over here. You can see that thing don't move at all. This one has you can shake it a little bit, but it's the panels that's actually moving and not the um the unit strut but that'll be it man i hope that helps you out here you can get a better look right in there how that boats down all right have a good one now